What's going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive. And in this video, what we are gonna go over is just five things that I feel every new DoorDash driver, Grubhub driver, or Uber Eats driver uh, should know to make more money in this gig economy, uh, you know. And I, I, these are just some things I jotted down that I wanted to share with you. For you veteran drivers, you may already know all this stuff, but for brand new drivers, this will probably be brand new information. So if you haven't yet, and you're finding some value in this, at the end of the video, hit that red subscribe button down below, tap that notification bell, so you're always notified when I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button. All right, here we go. So, on really any of these apps, something you really need to keep in mind is be very selective okay, with the orders you are accepting. When an order pops up, you do not have to accept every single one, okay? Off the bat, if you're seeing orders for $2, $3, $4, it's more than likely not worth your time, okay? For you veteran drivers out there, you know what I'm talking about. This is called cherry picking. Very important that you know the value of cherry picking because the fact is, you are an independent contractor, 1099. You can choose how many orders you want to accept and how many orders you want to decline slash reject. That reject button is your friend. Now, you may be put on a pause, which is something I've talked about in other videos, which basically means if you decline too many orders uh, one after the other, these apps may put you on a pause. Most times you can resume or just close the app, log out, log back in, and you can get back online in most cases, but not always. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. Number two, the time of day is crucial, okay? When I first started in 2017, we only had the option of doing lunchtime, dinner time, and like late night, you know, like 11 or 12. My market used to only be open from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m., but then eventually it went to 8 a.m., and then eventually I think it started uh, at 7 a.m. until like midnight. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the main times of the day, are when you're gonna wanna work. Uh, as far as breakfast, I would say any time between like seven and 10. Uh, for lunchtime, I would say between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then dinner time, I would say any time from like five till about eight or 9 p.m. are times where you're gonna wanna work because that's when people are, are making, you know, uh, the most money with these, these apps. And that's when most people are ordering for obvious reasons. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Third thing, when you are accepting orders, always try and aim for a dollar to two dollars per mile so what does that mean when the offer screen comes up let's say it says it's a six dollar payout right in total and it says two miles that's a good order because you're getting like a dollar or two per mile but like for instance if you're getting if an order comes in for you know uh eight dollars and they want you to drive 18 miles i would never take that Basically, you want to make sure these apps are working for you, not against you. So always try and aim for that dollar to two dollars per mile, and you'll see every hour you're maximizing your potential earnings. Um, you know where you're you're getting out at least two to three orders per hour. You always want to aim for that. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, number four, stay in hotspot areas like you know the city areas, the metropolitan areas, wherever the most amount of restaurants are, because naturally. Uh, you're gonna be competing with other drivers in your market. There's gonna be a lot of them out there and they're probably gonna have the same mindset as you. You're gonna wanna be in those places where the most restaurants are, like I said, for obvious reasons, because that's where you're gonna get the most offers more than likely. Um, if you notice you are not getting offers in those busy areas, drive around your market. Okay, go around your zone, wherever you are, and just keep driving around until you start getting pings. Always look for new spots. That's another important. Knowing your market is crucial. It's important. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, there's an app that I talk about in every single one of my videos. It's called Get Upside. It's a free app for any kind of smartphone, Galaxy, you know, Droid, iPhone, whatever you got. There's a link in the description down below of all my videos or in the pinned top comment where it says get the free gas app. You click on that, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. Uh, and then from there, you go to your gas station like you normally would, pump your gas like you normally would, print out your receipt, 
take a picture of the receipt with the Get Upside Gas app with the camera, it, it walks you right through. And within about 48 hours or so, you're gonna get anywhere from like 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is really fantastic. It's free money you're getting from just pumping gas. Um, and the other cool thing is if you have friends and family members that drive cars, which most of us do, get them, use your, there's a referral code on there you can share with them through text or email or whatever. And when they sign up with your code, every time they pump gas, you get paid. And then if they sign people up, when those people uh, get gas, your friends and family get paid and then you get paid for them and it just keeps going and going and going literally everyone wins it's called get upside the links are in the description down below or the pin top comment please download it i'm telling you it's fantastic i've been using it for a couple of years now and it's awesome to get money back on your gas so those are just five things i thought of uh to help you make more money in the gig economy. If there's anything else you feel I missed, put them down below in the comments section, and maybe I'll do another video talking about this kind of stuff. And of course, if you guys ever have anything you wanna share with me, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you have, send me an email, paidtodrivestories at gmail.com. Uh, it's the easiest way to reach me. Uh, or if you guys uh, want a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. And anyone that signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm gonna do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the tier five driver, Ron Grubb. Thank you to him. And thank you to John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Ginny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys. Really appreciate all of you. If you want to sign up, Links are in the description down below. Definitely go check it out. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. And of course, if you guys want to check out uh, the official merch store to get a t-shirt or a hoodie, check out paytodrivestore.com. Links in the description or the pin top comment. All right, enough self-promotion. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like. Subscribe down below with all notifications turned on. Make sure you're subscribed to my other channel, Team PTD. Links in the description down below. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling, keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Good luck out there.